Well, there has always been sort of fundamental disagreements between Al-Qaeda and ISIS. The main one being who the enemy is. Al-Qaeda views the enemy as the far enemy, that is the US and its Western allies. ISIS views the enemy as more of a nearer enemy, that is Iran and the Shi'i uh, powers in the Middle East. Um, another big difference stemming from this is, is about popular opinion. ISIS seems it okay to use terror, beheadings, these things, where we know that Al-Qaeda has told ISIS in the past, you can't do this, you can't alienate popular opinion in the Middle East. And this goes to the third sort of major difference, that is operational time frame. Al-Qaeda kind of says this is a generational struggle. This, is a gener we, this might take generations to establish a caliphate. ISIS said, no, right now we can do it, we need to force the issue. And so what's probably going to happen is Al-Qaeda kind of took a back seat, let ISIS try its game, and then it was expecting ISIS to eventually fail, in which Al-Qaeda will come back and say, listen, we can't, we need to organically work for our struggle.